Welcome back to MBE. Today it is valve stem 101 and the ev evolution of the, of the valve stem sizes over the years. And you can see here what we have. We have the six millimeter, which is 236 thousandths, and you can see how small this is. The seven millimeter, which is 275 thousandths. Five sixteenths, 310. 11 30 seconds, 342 thousandths. And the dreaded top fuel 3 8 exhaust stem valve at 375 thousandths. Okay, so back in the 80s, all the small blocks, I think everyone would agree with this, even some of us old guys, that um, 1130 seconds was the valve stem of choice, okay? You know, something about this large. You know, we certainly weren't, we got away from the big block Chevy stuff of the 3.8 stuff and we went to here. Okay, but as the evolution came, in the 80s, especially when you watch the race, oh, I had a valve failure, a valve broke, a valve broke, a valve broke. Well, most of the time the valve spring broke. Then the piston hit the valve and the valve broke. Um, I will be the first to tell you that valve failure, 99% of, uh, of the time is not because of the valve company, it's because it's self-induced by the, by the people who are over-revving their engines, not checking lash, and just overall no maintenance, okay? So, we went from 11, 30 seconds, we go, oh, the, the, the valve needs to be stronger, we keep breaking valves, they were thinking, so, you know, they stuck with this for a long time, and then, as everybody became more knowledgeable, they go, whoa, it's the weight of the valve that is creating all the loft that is breaking the valve springs. So now, okay, let's go to 5 sixteenths. Well, now it's, now, okay, whoa, that's big. The, the reason why this is big, it's, it's a lot of grams. So if you go from 11, 30 seconds in the same valve to 5 sixteenths, that's going to be about 10 grams. 10 grams doesn't sound very much, but 10 grams when you go from, 90 grams to 100 grams is 11% more weight. That's 11% more weight at 9,000 RPM that the valve, that the lifter is going to loft and not land on the top of the ramp, which create, which then it hits and valve train, then and we have valve issues. So then I would say in the late 90s, late 90s, 97, 98, I'd say 98, 99, the cup teams had went to seven millimeter, okay? So now they're almost 20 grams lighter from going 11, 30 seconds to seven millimeter, and they're seeing a lot less valve train failures. You know, I think we can all look back at those races, at least those of us that are 45 on up, and see that they had a lot of, a lot of valve train failures, which they have almost none now. Okay, so then the cup teams, when they didn't have a gear rule, and they were actually racing, and they, and they were, uh, able to be creative and think and engineer, they went to over 10,000 RPM, okay? When they went to that, a lot of the teams went to the six millimeter stem. Now mind you, look at, look at where it evolved from, 1130 seconds to the six millimeter. Like, scary, okay? <laughs> Very scary. But this lived, these did not fail, okay? Now they have a valve weight rule so they don't need to run that. And they have a gear rule, so they don't run over 10,000 RPM. They run 9,000, which is ridiculous. And then we have, so they're back to doing seven millimeters now. They don't have to do that. Okay, when, you, when we were talking about the dreaded top fuel valve, we have that here. Well, this is Inconel, okay? This thing weighs, this is ridiculous. Okay, so let's just go Inconel valve. This thing is obnoxious, okay? All right. And then you wonder, and, and this is a whole other thing of why the top fuel, all their failures are valve train related, not tune-up related for the most part, 160 grams. What's interesting, you have two valves that are very similar in sizes, okay? Very similar. This is a little longer, you know, it's very similar in sizes, okay? So, let's say if the, if the length was the same, if we lowered this, this would be about 92 grams, okay? Then we go to the six millimeter stem, 67, like get some, okay? That's serious, and that's the, that's the lofted weight that matters, okay? So we'll put these back. Okay, so it goes back to the same thing that we've shown you in our, in, in our valve train videos that we wanna be able to control the loft of the lifter, and with weight we can do that. Not only do we save weight there though, when you run a smaller stem, you run a smaller lock. Okay, 
Now we're running these smaller springs. You run a smaller retainer, so all of this gets lighter and lighter, and then the failures get less and less, and you're able to run more RPM without failures. Okay, so I hope this is a decent explanation on Valve Stem 101 and why the sizes have evolved to what they are today. Thank you very much.